Alrighty guys, it's Seppo Bayou here, coming at you with another vlog. We are here in beautiful Waco, Texas. People have been asking me, how do I approach certain holes? What's my thought process when I approach a hole? What what do I think? What, what are my concerns? OBs, trees, water, whatever. And today we're gonna go through a couple holes and I'm gonna explain how do I think of the hole? what makes me do a certain shot and so on so let's get to some of those holes all right so here we are at the waco annual charity the brazos park disc golf course we're on hole 17 it says hole number five but in the tournament layout it's 17 and this hole is a par 4 extremely challenging one it has several options that you can choose off the tee it's a dog leg so we are we have a main landing spot for the first shot and then we have a second shot uh, the main landing spot is over there on that hillside and a lot of players choose to throw turnover with the backhand or sidearm hyzer and I used to throw the high hyzer over the trees. This year I've been working on my sidearm so I'm actually going to go a D, with the D1 sidearm into the landing area and I'm going to see if it gets me far enough so I can have a clear second shot. But let's try, I'm going with the D1 167 grams. I think that should be far enough and on this kind of hole it really matters what kind of wind there is. If the wind is let's say strong left to right I might not feel that comfortable throwing the hyzer because there's OB on the right in the trees and the cart path also is OB. So if it was left to right wind I could go with the hyzer so it would, it would be pushing it down into the sweet spot. But in calm conditions like we have now I feel pretty confident throwing the sidearm. But let's go check out how the first one landed and see how our second shot looks like. Okay, so this is where we landed. We are probably about 320 feet away. The second shot is a little bit downhill. We have a pretty tough headwind right now. And we have water on the left, which obviously is out of bounds. And we have trouble, all the bushes on the right side, which are also out of bounds. In this wind, where it's headwind, maybe slightly from left to right, I could even think about going with the hyzer. But if I drop too hard to the right, I'd never across in bounds. I would have to play again from here. So I probably don't want to do that. So I think I'm going to go with another sidearm, the same D1. Uh, I'm just going to make sure I give it a good amount of hyzer so it does not stay over the water for too long. A little bit too far to the right, but that's fine. Yes, that's that's good. I would totally take that shot. It's about 30 feet to the right of the basket. It's not in the woods, so we're good. We're putting inside the circle. Okay, so actually we were even closer than what I thought. This is probably about 25 feet. The wind is pretty strong. By the way, I just got new putters. Shout out to Charlie Cavalier for this 350G PA3s. And, uh, there's nothing to it. We have water behind the basket, but I would say we're close enough. We don't have to worry about it. So we're just going for it. Easy birdie. This is how you play hole 17, or that's how I play it. And it seems to be pretty good. So try it out. We're moving on to hole 18. Okay, we're on hole 18. This is the dangerous hole. You can play this hole a few different ways. Once again, we have the water, which is obviously out of bounds. We have the cart path on the left, which is out of bounds. And all around the basket on the back side, all the woods are also out of bounds. So on this hole, especially if the headwind is this strong, I would probably offer to lay up on the layup area, which I'm gonna do first. I'm just gonna throw that shot with my OG H1. There's really nothing to it. You just wanna make sure you give it a good amount of hyzer so it bites in the ground. So we're gonna do that first.
the hillside plays good for us, so it's not going to be skipping up the hill. That was as good as it gets for the layup shot. That's a pretty basic shot, about 320 feet, a little bit downhill. But since we're making a video, I can't just be laying up. We're going to have to go for it, which I will be doing with my D1 Silver Lat Signature Disc from 2015. And uh, the sign says that this hole is 492 feet. So about you have to cross about 500 feet. So uh, a strong headwind, I'm going to make sure I give it a lot of hyzer. So it's not going to be flipping over too much. But I also can't give it too much hyzer so it can cross far enough and get over the water. I turned it over way too much and that's all be. Actually, it, that would have probably been in bounds because in the tournament last year on the tree line it had a, the disc of Pro Tour wall which is about one feet high. And that landed safe and just skipped there. So I think I would have hit the wall, but I turned it over too much. Didn't give it enough hyzer. So we're gonna try it again. I'm gonna go with my trusty X1. Just a little bit more stability from the D1. The wind is picking off. It's pretty strong right now. I don't wanna lose this disc. Oh yeah, the wind is too strong. Come on, come back. Once again, I hit the inbounds, but it went OB. I think we're gonna go, have to go with one more and this is gonna be the last shot we throw. Otherwise, we're just gonna have to say that this hole or we have too much headwind and we're gonna have to go with the layup shot. Let's get this. Now we got the angles right, but it's going to have to come back and it's doing that. There it is. We have it on the green. Let's go for an eagle. Okay, so just from my experience right now in this headwind, I think my play in the tournament would be laying up here because the shot from here to the basket is pretty simple. Not that it's a gimme, but it's pretty simple. And this is a par four. I'm going to throw my second shot with the 400A2. So I'll still basic hyzer to the basket. Seems a little bit long, but now it's not. Right under the basket. Easy birdie, that's what I would do. Okay, so actually the D1 wasn't even over the cliff, so we're safe here. Uh, the X1 was over the cliff, so uh, it was out of bounds, but the last D1 I threw, it's inside the circle. Let's go get the eagle. I actually missed the first two, but I didn't want to show them to you. So I'm going for the eagle now. Yes, eagle time. All right, and this was actually the layup shot from the H1. I threw the A2 here. So that's a simple birdie, which is not a bad score on this hole. I would definitely take it. And especially if the wind is like this, that would be my play. So what, what comes to my choices on holes, I'm kind of the player that likes to take rather the risk than not, but I always like to be smart. So that's my, my idea on, on how to make my game plan. And I always just like to be smart and I recommend you guys to be smart and really pay attention on your game plan because that's where you really can save your strokes. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And by the way, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you get all these new videos. I make videos every single week and I'll see you guys next week again.